Okay, let's talk about my job application again. This time going in the depth of things such as the schedule, salary and saving. Okay, so just today, my employer has called me up. And he told me I'm going to go to a first meeting uh, next week to Tuesday between 3 o'clock and 5 o'clock just to tell what's going on here uh, with the management of a web shop and to uh, have a look at the schedule in a little bit more in depth because I have a very busy school schedule right now and a lot of homework as well, so I need to work every now and then. Uh, I'm say, Friday and Saturday are a very busy day, so I'm going to go with the Monday and Tuesday instead, and all, for work days. Or perhaps this full vacation could qualify as well. So, our schedule isn't quite complete yet, but I can think about it right now. When do I want to actually work and what do I get for that amount of time? Uh, but what we can focus on is the salary that I'll get uh, during my work day, which I've turned the uh, camera to the graphing calculator so I could calculate everything out. So I got rid of all of the, all the stuff there. And I'm going to find out what the minimum youth wage is in the Netherlands per hour. Sorry that everything is in Dutch at the top end, but of course that's because I use this uh, graphing calculator for school as well. But let me tell you, per hour you must earn at least, as a 17 year old in 20 or 21, this might change next year uh, when it's 18, along with inflation and stuff like that. So it's three euro and eighty eight cents. Now, let's say I work five, or perhaps let's say two hours a week. That would equal seven seventy six per week. One hour Monday, one hour Tuesday. This is just an example. The schedule will be revised later. So. The next step is to multiply that number by the number of weeks, which I'm going to do 52 minus every vacation, which is one uh, for autumn holiday, one for the uh, spring holiday, about two for a Christmas holiday, two for the May holiday, or May reset, which is tradition here. And six for the Christmas holiday, and I'll also include exclude three test weeks. Sorry, uh, so that is two hundred and eighty-seven euros and twelve cents uh, per year. Uh, as is, uh, that's going to be taxes on top of some face tax I can pay back. So. That is that. Okay, so I've got this saving. I really want to get a DSL, as I said before. So, it's actually an official saving goal. Yeah, I've actually got it in a wish list. And I'm going to say that a DSL costs 429 euros, including the lens. And 9 for the SD card and 49 for the case and divide that by the number of 287.12 and it takes me around about one and a half, two years to earn that money depending on the wages, it's the bare minimum that it will take, the bare maximum. Uh, everything of course if Depend on inflation and stuff like that, but that is that done. And uh, yeah, the saving goals. Uh, yeah, this this might change, of course. For example, 
I thought I one way to be able to do full time, so that is that. 15, 52 per week. 5.74 and then place that number on the other number. It would just take less than a year, but you get the point. Yeah, but I have to tell myself one more thing, uh, which is that camera movement there. It's just that you're not going to earn much on your first job, no matter when you start. You're just having, uh, I have no job experience uh, whatsoever at all. So it's going to be hit or miss how much I earn. One, I might even get promotion one day, uh, having a wage raising. Uh, I don't know what happens, so it's just for bare maximum it takes, but I'll see you next time. Bye. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you do, please give a thumbs up and share this video with all your friends and perhaps consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you and I'll see you next time.